kind of cramped in here. What should I have something else today? Hi! We're gonna be car vlogging today. I'm gonna be talking to guys out there. And for the girl viewers, this is also for you guys too. I'm kinda gonna tell on us a little bit. For the girls out there and for the guys, I'm pretty sure that guys rack their brains about you talk to a girl and she didn't really respond the way you wanted her to. I'm gonna give you guys some quality advice. I feel like you guys should know about girls and how to talk to them in public. Guys, let's say you see a girl and you think she's pretty and you think she has like a nice body, whatever, and you see her and you're like, oh yeah, man, I'm totally, I'm totally gonna go talk to her. Like, if I don't talk to her right now, she's gonna leave and then that's gonna be it. And she's so freaking hot, I just have to talk to her. Now, if you find yourself in a situation like that, um, and she's around her friends, the best advice I could give you is to not talk to her when she's in a group. Avoid that at all costs. Because if you talk to a girl when she's around her friends, you will be either laughed at, stared at, cold-shouldered, or all of the above. Because girls have no shame when it comes to being in a group as long as there's somebody there that they know is gonna be on their side no matter what they say anything freaking goes so they might not say anything to you in front of your face they might not even react but what will happen is that as soon as you walk away or they walk away they will talk about you they will talk about the things they like about you. They will talk about the things they don't like about you. They will talk about how silly you were for coming up to her. They will even totally sabotage you and the girl that you likes I. So try to find some way or try to find an opportunity where she is by herself. When you get her by herself, do not pressure her. And a lot of girls think that's extremely annoying, so just don't do it read the signs if a girl looks like she's not interested then walk away do not stay there and like continue to prove your case it's not gonna work either she sees you and she's like hmm, he's cute i'm i'm willing to get to know him or she sees you and she's like cell phone where is my cell phone once she gets cell phone in hand you will only get mm-hmm okay Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I'm actually getting a phone call, so I will, yeah. And that's how your conversation ends. And she doesn't put her phone away or put her phone down or even make an effort to make eye contact with you. That means she is not interested. I think the best thing to do, just start a conversation. And the best way to start a conversation is to just, you know, start off with a compliment or notice something and be like oh you have an iphone i have an iphone or oh wow those are vans right on your feet like those are really cool like i like vans just start with like basic stuff because if you just come out and just be like oh i think i think you're cute and i would really be interested in getting to know you like that is that completely like walls walls build so what you want to do is you want to Start off with something totally innocent and then work your way up to that. Don't automatically ask for a number. Like, be unique. Ask for, like, what's your Twitter? What's your Instagram? What's your Facebook? Like, ask for something a little bit less intimate than a phone number. Because a phone number is like a direct line to her. It's not the best idea. Like, you, what you want to do, you want to get to know who she is first. Because... Guys, some of you are like really like, oh, she's hot, she's pretty, like she, it can't be anything wrong with her, she's perfect already, like just looking at her, I know she's not going to be crazy. It's better to get her social media stuff first, because people usually go backwards, they get like the phone number, and then they're like, oh, do you have a Twitter, do you have an Instagram, do you have a Facebook, like, no, get that stuff ahead of time, so that way 
once she follows you or adds you or approves you to see her whatever then and only then will you be able to determine if she is truly psycho or if she actually has like nothing in common with you or if she does, has everything in common with you or if she seems like she's way better than you thought she was like just get to know that stuff first and then move forward guys think about it you take my advice i think that you'll be like way more successful but that's just me don't forget to subscribe and to like and to tell me what what other things that guys do that you don't like and that you know you thought was cute and clever just put it down in the comments i'll see you guys next time